Okay, my name is Jennifer. You can call me Jen. I'm a 37 year old mom of two. I just had a birthday. Yeah. No, it's fine. I'm just perusing the Sephora site, you know, because there's a little something happening called the Sephora sale. And I'm sure you've seen thousands of videos on the Sephora sale. So, we're not talking about the sale necessarily, but I want to tell you some mascaras that just did not make it for me. And when I say that, I preface it in saying that for me, these did not work. They may work for you because you may be looking for something totally different than what I am looking for. I am looking for bold, big, black lashes, and you may be looking for natural and fluttery. I just want to preface this video when I state that, but I'm also going to share with you a couple mascaras that I think would be a good find at Sephora. So let's go in with my top four mascaras that didn't make the cut from Sephora. All right, let's start with the Big Bang Valentino. Not a good mascara for me personally. It's not even that great of packaging. It's called the Magnificent Volumizing Mascara. It retails for 32 US dollars. Now, it's plastic. It's kind of like a pinky red color. Here's a wand. And I usually like a good wand like this, something with like thicker lap or bristles. Something that's gonna coat every single lash, right? Not ones that are gonna poke you in the eyeball or anything like that. These aren't silicone-y ones or anything like that. Now, what I have an issue with with this, besides the packaging, like being cheap or whatnot, look, <laughs> honestly, if you're paying $32 for a mascara, wouldn't you think there'd be something better about this packaging? Or, I mean, that may just be me, but, the formula never dried down. So when I say dry down, meaning like, you know how like the first two weeks of opening mascara, you can, you know, it can be a little like watery, and not even watery, but a little less thick than what, you know, I feel like the best mascara is after it's been open for two weeks. And it's just that perfect consistency of like, not too thick, not too thin, just right. Anyone else? Let me know down below if you're the same way because this never dried down, never. It was so like gloopy. That's a great word for it. Is that even a word, gloopy? It's, clump it's not even clumpy. That's not even the word I'm trying to, it didn't work for me. It didn't work for me. I felt like it was just gloopy and just did not separate the lashes, one. Did not elongate lashes or, I mean, it didn't like stay very, I mean, it stayed well, but it was all like, like, I don't know. I felt very spidery with this mascara and that's really not the look I'm going for. Yeah, it's just not good. And for 32 US dollars, Right? And Valentino, don't you just expect more? I do. I have high expectations. <laughs> the next mascara that I really want to talk about is a mascara that recently was released. And a lot of these were recently released. I mean, in the past, like, six months to a year, probably. And this one I was interested in. This is the new Milk Makeup Mascara. It's the Rise Mascara. So this here is kind of a, it's 28 US dollar. It's in color Elevate or Extreme Black. And it's a clean Sephora brand. It's curls, it's cruelty free, lengthening vegan. This is all what they say it's supposed to do. 93% natural vegan mascara that lifts, lift, lengthens, and gives weightless volume for next level lashes that stay curled and plump free up to all day. Four vegan waxes wrap each lash for precise definition and weightless volume. The packaging is kind of neat. It's kind of unique and things like that. It's 0.28 ounces, 8 grams. Um, I had high hopes for this. I really did. It's just not there. So you see how much product comes out on this tube? It's kind of similar to the Valentino. I love the curved one. Like that is an A++. I love a good curved one. But guys, this was very similar to the Valentino. It was 
kind of gloopy. Never separated the lashes enough. I felt like I had too much product on the wand. Not, it just, it didn't own up to a lot of the brave reviews that I personally feel that it got. For, for me, like, like I said, for me, it just did not work for me. And it's not one of my favorites. So, therefore, this didn't make the cut either. I don't even want to talk about this next one because I have a feeling you guys might... <laughs> A lot of people like this mascara. So, I was gifted the next two mascaras and I don't like them. For me. <laughs> I'm like, for me. Merit's mascara is not for me. Now, this is the per perfect black mascara, lengthening mascara. I review something. I'm always wanting to review it fairly because this mascara may not be made for something that I am looking for, right? It's 26 US dollars. It's vegan, lengthening, clean at Sephora, long wearing, cruelty free. This is an everyday mascara that defines, separates, and lengthens lashes for a wide awake look with no smudging ever. It's a tubing mascara, so therefore it's going to be taken off with warm water. I will say it's easily removed. You can remove it easily. The wand is actually nice. I like the wand. I like the amount of product that it gives. It's really hard to build up. And I'm not, okay. And it may not be for that purpose, right? So I'm trying to also kind of give the pros and cons and like how it could, what it was developed for, things like that. This is your everyday mascara, like I said, but you are going to get like natural looking lashes. You're not going to get like boom in your face lashes. That's not a bad, that's not a bad thing. But if I'm going to get natural looking lashes, I want my lashes to be like long and like flirty. That's what I want them to look like. Um, and this didn't lengthen enough for me personally to get that. I also felt like it did flake some. It says that it's not supposed to smudge or, or whatnot. But I did see some flaking, not a lot. I mean, with all of these, I did see some flaking, but not like a ton of time. So, Merit. That's kind of that. And if there are other questions that you do have about the various mascaras or if you've been looking for different mascaras, let me know and I can um, provide more information uh, if you have questions on the mascaras themselves. This is a brand new Freck mascara. It is the Mascara Lash Rocket. And the cool thing about this, it has lash enhancing peptides and that states it on the actual container here. 26 US dollars, has a matte finish, it's volumizing, lengthening, cruelty free, clean it, support it, support and vegan. It volumizes and lengthens. I think this is decent. I don't think it's the worst, but I don't know if it really like enhances your lashes or whatnot. And I would say that it does lengthen, I wouldn't say it volumizes. Not terrible, but it's not what I reach for at all, and it's not something that I really enjoy. Like, it doesn't knock my socks off, and so for that, like, I don't reach for it. And I don't feel like it's, if I don't reach for it, then obviously, right? I'm just kind of like, eh. So, I would say it's not terrible, it's decent, good, okay. Not sure about the lash enhancing peptides, but I'm not one that's reaching for it because honestly, I want something more for my lashes. But for what it was made to do, you know, similar to the Merit, it's not like they're like terrible, terrible mascaras, like, like the Milk and the, I mean, I don't like either of these, 100% don't like them. They're decent. Just not, like, literally not for me, if that makes sense. Those are the four mascaras at Sephora I would not recommend 
honestly, just if you're looking for these bigger, bolder lashes. If you're looking for bigger, bolder lashes and you want something intense and like black or whatever, the Rare Beauty Mascara, guys, amazing. Love this mascara. I think it's just absolutely stunning. Let me find it. So this is the Rare Beauty Mascara. Um, this is my second tube of it. It's phenomenal. See, look how great this wand is. One, it's kind of that hourglass wand. I like that wand. But the other great thing is the amount of product that's distributed on the actual wand itself is phenomenal. Amazing. Great. Perfect. I love this mascara. I think it's very good. The other mascara that I would highly recommend that I have bought, I have two tubes of now. Calorie. Calorie tubing mascara. Guys, it is phenomenal. I love this mascara. It's like, okay, so these are both tubing mascaras. Calorie knocks merit out of the water. You could use this, have natural looking lashes with one coat and you'd be golden. You could build this up a little bit and you'll be like, whoa, looking good. You know what I mean? <laughs> like Jen. Okay. I love it. I really do. So Rare Beauty and Calorie. Highly recommend. So there you go. I hope this helps. You know, a lot of times I know people, including myself, don't talk a lot about products they don't like. And I want to do that more because it helps me to know what's not very good for you. But I like to do it in a way that people can understand why I don't like it as much for me as it may work for someone else. And that's why I like to explain, for example, that, you know, I like my lashes a little bit more bolder and longer and lengthened and dramatic and things like that. Whereas these don't give me that, that look that I'm looking for, therefore, not saying it's a terrible mascara, but it's not gonna give me what I want. So, I'm not gonna reach for it, therefore, well, you know, it's not for me. So, I hope that helped you guys. If you guys are looking for new mascaras to try out specifically for the Sephora sale that's going on right now, or ever, if you're just looking for a mascara, I invite you to subscribe below. I would love to have you here and share the video if you'd like, if it's helpful. I'd appreciate that or, get, you know, hit that like button and comment. Let me know what your favorite mascara is at Sephora or anywhere for that matter. It doesn't have to be Sephora. And let me know what you don't like because we all need to know why you don't like something, right? Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Again, my name's Jen, and I'll see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, y'all.